Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Elijah Holyfield. Let's take a look at this one play. Shows you some nice things. Speed to the edge. Ability to use that free arm to ward off a defender. A little bit of a spin to work through contact. So you see a, a back with good speed, acceleration, second effort. I mean, this is a safety who's in the box here or a little bit close to that box. Coming up here to the edge and he takes the corner on him. I mean, pretty much eliminates that angle pretty early. But let's talk about what he could do better. Because really in the pro game, you talk about there's a lot of speedy backs. But the reason why Frank Gore continues to frustrate people who are counting on Kenyon Drake or counting on somebody else who was younger, faster, stronger to beat out Frank Gore is that Frank Gore understood angles. He understood how to set up blocks. And you're going to see here that Elisha Holyfield can work on that a little bit more because watch where he makes his cut right here. Look at how much space there is between he and the line of him in the line of scrimmage. One, two, almost three yards between him and the backside of one of his blockers. You see the linebacker and the safety. They both see the bounce out here. They're both able to commit at the same time he commits. And as a result, at least the safety here is able to get his hands on Holyfield. And then another defender, number 46, is able to get back into the play here and also shove Holyfield out. But if Holyfield takes another step or two, forces, especially the safety, forces him up another yard or two or three, Holyfield's going to be able to have the advantage to be able to make that cut, cloud the safety's vision at the line of scrimmage, and get outside without even having to contend with the safety here. And if he's able to build up speed without contending for anything, he might get the first down here and a lot more yardage. Now, this isn't an apples-to-apples -apples comparison in terms of the previous play I showed of Elijah Holyfield bouncing a play outside and the one here because you have more blocking on the side he's bouncing out to. But you can see that he presses the lane maybe about a yard deeper. So he's about two yards away from the line of scrimmage as opposed to being three yards away. You can see that he's got all the defenders converging to that inside. The linebacker is already committed to the middle of the line here. See this linebacker here? He's observing and waiting. And then he works and commits inside as Holyfield works there. Now, if Holyfield cut a yard deep earlier and began his cutback maybe at four yards and then finally made that bounce to three, this linebacker might have seen that. This edge defender in space might have seen that. And the outcome might have been different. Again, not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison completely because you have blocking outside that he didn't have on the first one where the press was even more important on this one. Everyone's kind of working to the inside in the first place. They commit pretty early. His press reinforces it and helps it out. I don't think it would have been as damaging for him in terms of the outcome if he didn't press as much here as opposed to the last play. But it does give you kind of an idea of instead of him trying to make an immediate cut right here or right here, this does suck in the linebacker a little bit more because he takes that extra step. That extra step forces that linebacker to commit. forces It reinforces these edge defenders or these defensive linemen to recommit or to commit inside. And then you get the bounce out. So pressing a crease and then bouncing it. More efficient run without having to deal with contact. Now, when Holyfield is able to see what's happening and really process it with a level of patience and control where his eyes and his feet are synced, you see some really nice work here. And you're going to see it here against penetration up the middle. Where he bounces outside, finds a lane, hurdles a defensive pack in the crease as he gets to the exit of it. Here's that defensive back. There's the hurdle. It's the first down here. Now let's watch the first part of this run, though, because that's what's important is the footwork. 
you're gonna let's watch first the penetration. You see the penetration right here by the defensive tackle. He works into that area, gets a push. And then you can see the bounce out by Holyfield. So let's look at Holyfield's footwork now. Now, as he reads this, you can see that when he makes that bounce, see with the toe, toes pointed to the sideline. He's able to open his hips and cross the back of his blocker and the face of this defensive tackle to get around, bend the edge so he can get downhill quickly. Now, how does it get set up that way? That's the thing. It's about chopping those steps. First step, small step as he reads that push. You can see the flash of number 97's helmet to the inside here because he's taking that inside on 55. Second step, you can see that he points the toe more to the outside here, but it's a short step even through the exchange point. Third step and fourth step, two really small steps that only cover about a half of a yard so that he can assess what's happening here with this push. And then this final step. It's actually a two-step combination. It's the fifth step and then the opening of the hips with the point of the toe. That gets him outside quickly and around. And then it's just about getting downhill and doing the rest. Nice footwork there to begin to process what he sees as he takes the exchange and even really before that. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Bowling Room videos, check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room.